There are hundreds of recruiting offices like the one that was targeted today, and Jim Axelrod is looking into the security challenge. Jim? Well, Scott, the recruiting centers like this one here in Elizabeth, New Jersey, point up a particular problem, a particular challenge for the U.S. military. The centers are designed to be very easy for members of the public to walk into. But it, that's exactly why they are very easy targets. Now, this afternoon, police presence increased at high-profile recruiting centers like the one in Times Square in New York City. But the Northern Command has yet to issue a nationwide alert to increase security at all recruiting stations. A military spokesman tells CBS News, quote, we are continuing to look into this incident, working very closely with both federal and local law enforcement agencies to determine exactly what happened and if we need to make any adjustments. Scott, we're standing right across from the Union County Courthouse in New Jersey, where you need to pass through a metal detector to walk through any of the doors into the courthouse. Here at the recruiting center, there appears to be a button where somebody can buzz you in, but no metal detectors, exactly the kind of thing the spokesman says they'll be looking into. Scott? Jim Axelrod. Jim, thank you. Hi, this is Lazy Reporter, reporting from Chattanooga. Today's news is what we know about the Chattanooga shooter. The gunman in the Chattanooga military installation shooting has been identified as 24-year-old Mohamed Youssef Abdulaziz. He was believed to have been born in Kuwait, and it was unclear whether he was a U.S. or Kuwaiti citizen. The official who gave his identify was speaking on condition of anonymity to discuss the ongoing, sensitive investigation. It was not immediately clear whether the gunman's first name was spelled Muhammad or Mohammed. Abdulaziz is from Hickson, Tennessee, which is just a few miles across the river from Chattanooga. He was booked for a Dewey in April 2015. For more news, subscribe.